Hey guys, over this video, I'm going to be covering how to run open voice on Pinocchio. So Pinocchio is like a software that allows you to kind of run these complicated AI models without really going through the complex setup they usually have before you start running them. So open voice is like a voice clone model that can kind of clone any voice. And I think there's a typo here from any voice it should be able to close. So it says instantly clone any voice from any text, rather it should be instantly clone any voice from any speech and then to text in any language, right? So we're going to be using Pinocchio to set it up. So in order to set up Pinocchio, it's super simple. Just click on download and then post you download, just download it for whatever operating system you have. I have Windows, so you download it. And then this is very straightforward. So you follow this, you run anyway. Once this is installed on your system, this is something that you'll be able to see. So if you already have something installed, you will see it here. So you can see we have PhotoMaker here, which kind of generates realistic avatars from your photos. So not even like a pre-training. If you just upload one or two photos, it will be able to generate avatars from your photos. So we're going to be clicking on discover here and discover basically exposes you to all the predefined templates it has here. And we're going to be specifically installing open voice. So you click on open voice and then you have an option to download. Note that the overall download kind of takes a long time. So, so once you click on download and you go to home, you should be able to find the thing that you installed or download it here. You click on the item there and then click on install. So once you click on install, a terminal like window will pop up. This is where all of the things that you need in order to run this in your local system will be downloaded, including the libraries from Python and the model that you need in order to run it. So you can see it's kind of accessing where the model is. And firstly, it's kind of installing all the libraries from the requirements.txt. Note that you know it's running by accessing certain Git repository on the cloud somewhere. And it's kind of following all the instructions that you need in order to install this locally, which is something that we had to do manually previously and it took a long time. So the fact that it can do all of that for you is like a really, really helpful bit to have, especially when it comes to running these large language models, but without having to go through like huge technical wall before you can run these. Now, note that I keep saying this a lot of the models and let me just go through whatever is available on Pinocchio. So if you explore this, almost all of these require some sort of GPUs or graphic cards in order to run these. And some of these even require you Nvidia, you to have like Nvidia GPUs only. So before you kind of, you know, try running any of these models, go through the requirements for those models. It's very likely that a common folk like us may not have access to these advanced graphic cards. So it's always ideal to kind of look through the requirements before you use them. Even in our case, while it's not explicitly calling out for us to have like a GPU here, but given that it's a large language model, it's going to require some sort of processing power, which comes with the graphic card itself. So that's something that, you know, it's not clearly mentioned here, but I'm pretty sure that's something that you need to keep in mind when installing these locally. You can see it's now installing Torch. All of these take some time to install, but it's one time. After you install it for the first time, it's not going to take uh, much longer the next time you try to run it. So you can see the initial download or installation is now complete. The next step is to start the model itself, which will do two things. It will download any of the models that are not downloaded and you still need in order to run them. And second, it will actually start the generation itself. So you can see it's using and extracting open voice checkpoint and it seems to be downloading a model and it seems like all the models are downloaded. So you can see it's running on local now. So you can open these, open it on your, you know, any of the browsers that you have. So you basically need to either copy this or press control and then click on this. It will open something like this. And now you can see there's the text here and the reference audio. So let me hear it. Have you? Uh, let me just uh, ensure that you guys also have access to the desktop audio. Come experts in the deep learning. I'm assuming you guys are hearing it. So this is the reference audio that we will be using to replicate this text prompt. So basically, this will take this text prompt, this reference audio, and generate an audio for this text 
you know by referencing this audio or generating in this person's voice basically we are cloning this voice for this text you can also use your microphone and then you know you can use terms you know agree to terms and cc so let me just agree he hoped there would be stew for dinner Tur so this was the input audio and this is how the synthesized audio sounds like and it's it sounds very real he hoped there would be stew for dinner turnips and carrots and bruised potatoes and fat mutton pieces to be ladled out in thick peppered floor fatten sauce again you can you can sense that there's some sort of ai in this but the generated audio sounds really really good and you can also do it in other languages so you can see this is i'm i'm not sure is this chinese and let's try and generating it yeah you can see it's generating chinese with this reference audio and this is great from the standpoint and the fact that this is open ended i'm going to be trying to use my own audio for reference and see how you know how that sounds or how the final generation sounds post that so i am going to be using one of my own reference audios and see how that sounds post that so you can see this is like a 2 minute 30 seconds video that i recorded for one of my videos in order to change the audio you can just click on the cross here and then upload your audio that you would want to use there are obviously options for styling here so there is whispering where your sound would be like the spring and there is cheerful and you know there are a bunch of options here that you can manipulate with the own sample voice that you upload so first let me try generating this in chinese which is something that i never imagined i would be speaking so let's see how that sounds jin 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 ji jia hao wo men yi ji chu ji chu fan ba it's not too close to what i had expected but the generation is not bad let me see if i can generate some let's just take this text and see if i can generate it in my own voice for multilingual cross-lingual examples please refer to this jupyter notebook This online demo mainly supports English. The default style also supports Chinese. But Open Voice can adapt to any other language as long as a base speaker is provided. So it's not too bad. So if you hear my audio, you can create case studies, homeworks, and so on. But the coolest feature is website hosting. It can look at your website. So again, if you compare these two, you know it's not too good and it's not too bad. So let me just try here reading again. For multilingual cross-lingual examples, please refer to the I mean it's trying to follow the way I am talking but it does not exactly sound like me. So let me change this to say cheerful and see how it sounds now. For multilingual cross-lingual examples, please refer to this Jupyter notebook. Well, I I think it's not doing complete justice with my audio, so I'm going to use someone else's audio and, and let's just see what kind of output it throws out. So I'm going to be using Elon Musk's audio so let me just play some seconds here and then particularly cooling the the power for a short period of time main power and efficiency of so i'm going to be using this audio with the exact same text but a default style and see if it makes any difference in the generation for multilingual cross-lingual examples please refer to this jupyter notebook this online demo mainly supports english the default style also supports chinese But open voice can adapt to any other language as long as a base speaker is provided. So I mean it's not exact like how Elon Musk would sound but at least it's kind of adapted to the style of speaking the way Elon Musk would speak in his videos. So what I my initial or my thoughts right now are is that it's still learning or it's still improving and it's not as good as you would see for models like 11 labs where the dubbing is really well done but at least it's open source meaning that it has scope for you to so someone who knows how to train models you can download the model and train it to sound way relatively more accurate you can see by the all the generations that we did post the initial generation sound similar to the initial generation that we had did meaning that the model is trained more on the default audio that it has in place and less on the other voices so it may potentially need like longer segments of audio in order to make this work correctly but overall this is a great model to play around with before i leave i just want to see if i can <laughs> <generate> <laughs> Elon Musk's voice in chinese and see how it sounds <laughs> so again it's not 
exactly how you would expect it to be but you know this is open source and you can go ahead uh, download it play around with the model and maybe potentially train a better model out of this so i hope this video helps you set up this in your local system and i'll see you guys in the next one